Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me nom 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 069 back with another SDL tutorial and today we'll be covering how to create a window in SDL 2.0 so it's a little bit different from what it was in SDL 1.2 where you had your window surface as you did SDL uh, window I don't even remember what it is anymore because I've been using this so much but uh, in this one you have a new structure known as an SDL window you a pointer to it and you create it with the uh, function SDL create window and it just takes like all those like SDLWM create caption, puts them all in one function. It can even uh, it sets up so you can make multiple windows, and you can actually position where you're gonna put the window on the screen. So it's pretty simple to do. So let's just jump right in. First, it's SDL window, and then I just call mine the window, and then the we'll make this one line, but. Because I want it all fitting in there, I'm gonna create this too. It's SDL create window. So first is the title, um, which is called SDL two tutorial. Then it's gonna have uh, your int x and y where it appears on the screen. So uh, you can put like 100, 100, 200, 200, wherever you want to put it on the screen. Um, but I put the flag so where it's gonna it's uh, Windows default position for is a uh, SDL window pause undefined and then you can go ahead and pass that as the other one window pause undefined and then just go ahead and I'll go ahead and open up the code so we can see it a little bit better um, there we go SDL window pause undefined and then from there we get our width 800 by 600 and the U went 32 flags. This is where you can put SDL full SDL window full screen, SDL window stone, SDL window OpenGL if you're using OpenGL with it. So we'll just do SDL window. Is it? I believe it's three. Second, yell at me. SDL window shown. Okay, now if we run our program really quick, it's gonna create a window. It's just gonna have a window flash for us. So go ahead and run it and bam uh, you couldn't really see it so what we're just gonna do is put an SDL delay here for say in milliseconds we'll do a second and a half so we can see it and we run our program now and now we have a window stay up for a second and a half before disappearing now you notice it's see-through because we haven't defined a back color for it and we haven't refreshed the screen yet but that is something we can do in the future. Um, anyways, this is the basics of getting a window up there. It's going to give you an 800 by 600 window of SDL2 tutorial up there. You can modify this on your own before delving deeper into this. Next tutorial, I plan to cover blitting surfaces to our window. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I will see you later.